please give us uh, the chance to meet many people to whom these characters have had a really profound impact, you know? And, and, and we get a chance to meet people who say a, a couple of things. The typical, oh my God, you're the voice of my childhood. Well, who knew your childhood was a middle-aged white guy, first of all? <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, it sometimes goes a couple different ways. It can be either, wow, I had, oh, thank you very much. It can be either, or you know what, I don't need this. I'm a big loud mouth. Screw it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, I mean, you can hear me, right? Yeah. 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 Shit. Um, thank you, though. I appreciate that. Um, it can be either, wow, uh, I had a really great childhood, and when I hear Pinky, it really takes me back to how exciting my childhood was. Or we run into people to whom their childhood was really miserable, and but for Animaniacs or Ren and Stimpy or SpongeBob or whatever, they would have had an even more miserable childhood. So the opportunity to meet people to whom those you know, characters have really impacted them that le that deeply. It's such an incredible gift to us. And um, we never would have known that had it not been for all these great sort of uh, ubiquitous conventions that are popping up everywhere like zits on a 12-year-old. So, <laughs> uh, and your skin looks great. But, <laughs> but really, thank you very much. And it, it, ex except for Tress McNeil, who's back there, the rest of us... <laughs> The rest of us are very grateful. Tress is not. <laughs> Tress is angry, bitter. Yeah. Now, see, even the beautiful woman who's signing for us knows that that means bad. <laughs> yeah. Right. What's, uh, but honestly, no, no. I, oh, what, what's this for? Oh, I've been given a pen. For notes? I love his answer. I said, what's this for? He said, it's a pen. <laughs> even I know that. <laughs> I'm going to call him William. You get it? William. Ah. Yeah. Um, but seriously, I, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I'm not just killing time. They are trying to get the scripts together. But uh, this really gave me an opportunity to, to speak on behalf of all of us. And those of you who are coming up, please come and visit us downstairs. You don't have to buy anything. Nobody cares. We just really love to meet you. But it, it's important that you guys understand how much we appreciate what you've given to us and that we take none of this for granted at all. Um, we get paid to do it used to get us in trouble in high school, you know, <laughs> and, and you guys uh, and often your parents have provided us an opportunity to make a living. So this is just one really great give back and paying it forward sort of thing. And so, uh, so thank you very much. And I can't think of a more beautiful way for us to celebrate a, uh, a new year. Um, um, and thank you. And we will have an incredibly uh, a, a wonderful, good time. A again, the only other person who will drag us down <laughs> is my friend Maurice Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I came out here to try to encourage all these people to help us take over the world, right? It's working. Look, they're shut up. They can't say anything. <laughs> you went from lab mouse to warm up man? Yes. Actually, that's a step up. Yes. <laughs> More sought after careers in Hollywood, yes. my friends. Trust me, I know. Eating food pellets is not nearly as glamorous as it sounds. No, but they do pay the warm up men in food pellets. They do. Actually, Kibble. Well, Ma and Mo would know because he was a stand up comedian for a minute. Yeah, and now, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I was actually Bob Hope standing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I held the cue cards for him. No, I was just, but I was telling yeah. these folks, honestly, how much it means to us that you not only spend the time to come see us, but that you share all these great stories with us. And it, it is mind-blowing. It also, it, the, the money you've, you've spent to walk in that door just now. Yeah. Oh, it's free. That's the show. <laughs> that's the show you're going to get. I got a pen. Even though it was free, we are going to give you the free show. <laughs> we would give you the show we would be getting if we weren't being paid. That's right. So There you go. No, and we're not getting, being paid. So we're you're going to get paid. this show. No. You're going to get up right <laughs> No, it's really cool. This is actually not the show. You know how it's the, not, you know it's not the show is because we are down here, yeah. not oh. on the stage. Slip on Wait, Joe, Oh, look. Oh. Thank oh. you. Yeah. Yeah.
show business money, folks. <laughs> this is what separates us from you. Right. We American just dollars. got paid. Jerry Jones, kiss my little Detroit ass. Exactly. <laughs> you guys beat the hell out of the Lions last weekend. Thanks a whole That's lot. That's marvelous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jess Harnell, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Woo! Hey, look, if you're not the other... Would it would be funny if Jess walked in that way and all of a sudden Jess came out from that. <laughs> that would be worth $20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but, you know, when we saw, and you know, smaller crowd, right? But this is cool because it gives us a chance to come out and do this. So, because of people like us, we can't, yeah, we're not quite ready? Not quite. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> anyway, hi, I'm Rob. I'll be your host for the. <laughs> oh, great. Look at, stand up. Would you take. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait just a second. I am the evil midnight bomber. What bombs at midnight? Yeah. Up is down. Bad is good. Ow, ow. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. Let me just say, I love this because I, I, I was Arthur on the ticket. Okay, so. I was Arthur in the movie Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hookers? <laughs> Jesus, I just saw I was doing great with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, got, I, got, I just realized what generation I'm oh. talking about. I've got to do the Russell Brand art. Yeah. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. It's okay. But I, I got to say, first of all, that's a great costume. And, but I, I love your reaction. Here's a man who goes into a public place dressed in lycra. And you're a big, I, strong I think guy. That's spandex. Oh, spandex. Okay, but I love your reaction because I said, "Hey, dude, Mr. Tick, stand up." And you go, "Oh no, no, I'm not. Like, no I'm as though you don't want people to pay attention to you." Yeah. Dude, you're six two and two twenty in a <laughs> blue light <lighter> costume. <laughs> going, oh no, <laughs> you can't be shy. Look at the dictionary, uh, look in the dictionary under dichotomy. Yeah. <laughs> that I really guess. is an amazing costume though. Did you buy it? You made it? Well, sort of. Were you dipped into it? <laughs> <laughs> Sewn onto you, perchance? It is astonishing. By it elves? Really no, Little it's blue true. elves? It's blue cost. Can you? Can we hear you else? say spoon as loud as you can? Boom. <laughs> Hang on a second. I want to watch. Okay. Say spoon again. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> now you all have no excuse for not knowing that. Right. The next time you go out for dinner with. Uh, a, a, a hearing what's the impaired. Term? What would I say? Hearing impaired? What's the proper term? Yeah. A hearing. Can we say deaf? With a deaf person. <laughs> there you go. There it is. He made the politically incorrect joke. <laughs> <laughs> do you and guys, paid for it. Uh, do you guys, for, you know, while we're killing some time, do you guys have any questions that you uh, would like to ask? Yes, sir. I know you forgot already. <laughs> His gone. question is. What was I going to say? Yes. I forgot what I was going to ask. And being completely telepathic, yes. I can tell you. You guys are great impressionists. I well, I'm not. Maurice. Well, oh, Maurice excuse me. Maurice. Excuse me. You are not a great impressionist, Mr. Paulson. No. Mr. Paulson does the best, perhaps the only, and an, an impression that has eluded me for 30 years. Really? Foster. <clears throat> Do you guys, did you guys ever yes. look up Foster Brooks on YouTube, the best drunk act in the world? <laughs> Rob Paulson does the quintessential Foster Brooks impression. I, Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Foster Brooks. I, I, <laughs> I love my friend Ma Maurice Lamarge because he talks like the brain talk, the brain talker. <laughs> <laughs> and when I, when I get a chance to have him do the, do the pinky and the brain, <laughs> pinky and the brain, my friend Maurice Lamar Lamarche can do the talking of the brain. <laughs> and that makes him laugh, and he actually urinates. <laughs> <laughs> Pees on himself. <laughs> Thank you for that. That was great. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> and I totally, totally improv over here. I need to know what's... Perfect for a All right. 
what's the most obscure impression that you love to do, but you don't ever get a chance to do? Yeah, but the thing is that like truthfully, Maurice has been paid for many years oh, to be an impressionist. Oh, so yeah, which, what's your most obscure impression that you don't get it often a chance? Well, to actually, do? it's really it's 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 an obscure impression. I don't, what's that? I love to do a did. I, I, did, I do love the man because I got to work with him, he's a great guy. I actually do, as far as I know the world's only Bill Bixby impression. <laughs> Bill Bixby? Bill Bixby, Dr. David what? Banner. Oh my God, go ahead. Here it is, okay? I, it's better if I had a mic, but I don't have a mic. Here so here, there, hey. Huh? <laughs> Mr. McGee, don't let me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Wow. <laughs> David Banner is believed to be dead. <laughs> That's my Ted Jackson. Children of the television totally generation, for sure. <laughs> but it's a genre but impression, Mr. We, McGee. We actually have been informed by our Grand Poobah that we're ready to rock and roll. So Grand Poobah. <laughs> well, thank you all very much. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mo. Oh, oh yeah, wait, I'm wait. sorry. How did that feel? Okay, I know you know this. Remember that guy who ran into the top ten voice actors list? Uh, I don't remember, but I've, there have been a couple top ten voice actor lists. Yeah. Most of them are me. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely as it should be. I'm always the 11th. Yeah. But anyway, yes, what about it? But have you got a question about that? How did you feel about it? Oh, any, let me tell you. Anytime anybody takes an opportunity to, to make a list in which we're included on the top 10 of anything, it's a very flattering thing. Except for top 10 people exposing themselves. Right. Which, in public. Yes. Which, hey, the day's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Anyway. Yes, it is marvelous Nerd Year's Eve. Yeah. All right, Thanks you guys, lot, you enjoy guys. the show. We're much better up there than we are down here. <laughs> okay.